Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I am Cece, aka Just a Florida Girl Living in Texas. So today I'm gonna start this video off a little bit different and we're gonna start it off with what? Lock footage. So let's get into it. Oh, yes, like that's the way you start a video. All right, guys, so this really, I oh, know, I got hand, hand and head syndrome. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so this video is really not like a sister lock update. It oh. is just a CC update, if you will, a little chit chat. So first of all, I'm just going to say this. I did not know, nor did I realize how much of a contribution that the educational system is to parenting. Like, I'm coming up to the end of the summer for my group, and they go back to school in less than a week. And I have come to realize that I need those eight hours that my kids are in school. Like, I need those to be a functioning person. Like, a functioning parent, a functioning co-worker a functioning student like I need those eight hours away from my kids so I can function all right y'all so I feel like I need to have a conversation with my kids on what is community snacks and what uh, I consider my snacks now I'm gonna break it down for y'all too because maybe y'all don't know so I'm gonna help y'all out. I'm stingy, I'm 34 years old and I don't have no problem admitting that I don't like to share my snacks. It's a certain way that I shop or everybody shops for that matter on how they eat. So, you know, I have three kids. I have a six year old, I have an eight year old, I have a 10 year old. So it's certain stuff that I buy because they like to eat that I necessarily don't really eat. So, you know, when I buy the 24 variety pack of chips, community snacks. If I buy gummy bears or gummy snacks or um, goldfish, that is what I consider community snacks. It's a free fall. Anybody can eat them. Now when it's time for me to get my snacks, it's certain stuff that I like to eat that I probably know my kids like to eat, but I don't want to share with them. Like the Brookside's chocolate covered pomegranate um, chocolates. Oh, bro, I'm not sharing those. And I'm probably going to get mad if one of my kids Ike's me can they have some. I'm like, Bruh. Go eat your gummy bears or your goldfish. Like, you don't see me asking you when you rip up your little gummy pack snacks. Oh, can I have one? Like, give me that same courtesy. And I know some of y'all like, bro, you tripping right now. You're supposed to be teaching your kids that sharing is caring. You're right. Sharing is caring. But I'm talking about like sharing like your glue stick or your color crayons or your color pencils like you really ain't supposed to share food you know I, yeah or no don't judge me bro long story short i'm just saying that i don't like to share and i'm ready for my kids to go back to school that's it that's all i'm trying to say on another note to the hair um guys i am going to start uh self retightening um i watched the video and from another youtube on here she has she's doing her sister lock journey as well and i think her name is t love speaks and i'm gonna link her page or her information down at the bottom so you guys can check her out because i love her page she has great content and she really explains stuff to you to where you understand it and I just thank you to bomb.com. Hey boo. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start retightening my own hair just because right now financially I'm not able to go get my hair retightened by my consultant. Yeah y'all, so that was it. This was my quick little rant that I had to just get off my chest because it's been driving me crazy. Um so 
yeah like nothing really has happened in my hair journey i am coming up on three months total on this the luck journey so i am still loving the journey i really don't have any complaints or concerns right now the one thing i will say that i'm excited about doing myself retightening is that i can retighten my slippage right now i don't have any i've been doing really well with i'm um, tying my hair up and using a shower cap when i am in the shower um but i'm gonna start working out so i want to see how the workout process is going to affect or if it will have any change on my hair journey so we'll see but thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you later bye